Hey guys, it's Jeff Lars here again with part 20. We're already at part 20, can't believe it. Part 20 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. So last time we did a little bit of fooling around in Hyrule Town and finished up Mount Cornell and got a few heart pieces and goodies out of that. And today we're going to start off by doing a little bit of Kinstone Fusion with the Mayor. Now I'm pretty sure, I looked this up, that this is going to give us, this is going to lead to us getting the larger wallet. And since our wallet's full right now, I kind of just wanted to get the big, the final wallet upgrade over with so that we can start buying some, some goodies so it's on Lawn Lawn Ranch. All right, we'll head over there then. <clears throat> Oops, sorry. So aside from this, we're going to probably do a little bit more, a little more fooling around in Hyrule Town in the general area. And yeah, after, after that, we'll, uh, we'll move on to getting ready to go on to the fourth dungeon. Don't know if we're going to get to that today, probably won't, but hopefully that'll be the next video. So let's see what's down here. Go, go, go. Oh, simple enough. Big wallet. So now I think we can carry 999 rupees. It's awesome. Now I want to check this guy one more time because he's been around for far too long. That minish that we got to right after we finished up the uh, the first dungeon and said he wanted to fuse kinstones, but then when we went back to him once we knew about kinstones, he refused to do it. I'm pretty sure that he's gonna be he's gonna be up for it now. If not, I'm I don't I don't even know what I'm gonna do if he's not up for it. Probably probably take a baseball bat to his mailbox if I can find it. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, I want to fuse kinstones. Let's do it, man. What do you got for me, Forest Minish? Ooh, another Beanstalk? I like, I like. To the sky. Oh, and it's right nearby, too. Perfect. Let's just go ahead and get big. And now to the sky. Should be right here. Nice. Always find some good stuff when we do these beanstalk things. Ah, chests and a heart piece. I like 200 mysterious shelves. That's great. Not like I'm going to be using them on screen. 200 rupees. And a piece of heart. Oh, perfect. All right, next time we stop in Hyrule Town, we're going to... Ooh, should we do the quiver or bomb bag? Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the quiver first, because it's easy to run out of arrows. But not so easy to run out of bombs. Go away. Don't want to play. Alright. And if you remember last time, we fused kinstone to that guy in the yellow house. And he, uh, he activated this little portal here. So let's see where this leads. Nice little house. Kinstone piece. Another kinstone piece. And somebody who looks just like him. Yes, you're getting visitors here. Don't really know where this is. Oh wow, you're you are you are something, lady. You saw a ghost, eh? I see a ghost. Hmm. Can we slash you? Hmm. Let's see, what was it again? I'm trying to remember what it was. I think it might have been the gust jar that we gotta use on this guy. It is. Come here, ghosty. In you go. Dr. Link saves the day. Let's put the ocarina back on. Get a kinstone piece. Very, very nice. I think that's all we have to do here, and we're going to get a nice reward for it later on. So one thing I'd like to mention today, I guess it's sort of a shout-out, but I really don't have enough viewers to make it a useful shout-out. Maybe it's more of a just sort of shout-out of appreciation to a Let's Player who's been watching me. Um, I'm sure that most people who have subscribed to me have probably heard of him or seen him before, and no, I don't want to read a text message right now. Stupid phone. 
Um, but yeah, his name is Perry748, and he is currently doing a Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. You just buy this quiver. Nice Mirage. How many can we hold now? 50, not bad. So yeah, Perry748, he's a... Uh... Oh, just arrows in there now. He is a fantastic Let's Player doing... His main Let's Play right now is Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. And it's he's doing a great job. And he's also starting up a Let's Play of um, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest, which I think is a fantastic Let's Play to do. So many people do Let's Plays of just Ocarina of Time and Master Quest I haven't seen any of yet. And I, I can't wait to see how he does that. He's just an absolutely fantastic Let's Player. So please check him out if you haven't already. And I'm sure most of the people who are watching me right now have, but if somebody finds this in the future, please, please do check him out. He's he's fantastic. So we're just going to do this little mini game. I think for now it's just just going to be fighting, fighting a bunch of monsters. Yes, it is. And, oh, geez, spiders, spiders, go away. No. Oh god, I'm doing terrible. Oh, jeez, I hate these little spiders. And there are levers everywhere. And these guys with their knives. Don't know why they want to knife me so much. Die. Alright, who else? You. And you. And you. And... That's right, go underground. Go underground. And now it's your time. Jeez, I keep getting stupid text messages. Busy right now. And there we go, piece of heart. Simple as that. <laughs> Link sleeping next to Ezlo. <laughs> That's just a great scene. I did enjoy the ride. It was fun. I don't know if he does, if we can get anything else from him right now, or ever again. But, yeah. I think that's all we've got to do here in Hyrule Town for now. There are probably a few other things that we can do, but I'll take care of that later. Now let's warp off to Lake Hylia. Because we never actually activated this wind crest. There's a secret place up here. So let's see what, let's see what this guy in here has to say. Alright, I want to enter the temple in the lake. Temple of Droplets. Ooh boy. Library? <laughs> and he's in the library? I get it. Alright. Ooh, I'll fuse kinstones with you. If I had the right kinstone, that was, that is. Alright. So he's in the town library, you say? Well, I can find that. we got a couple minutes left, so... No, there we go. Yes. Let's do it. Now, the only question is, which one's the town library? I think it's this one. Yeah, it is. Alright. Masks on the wall. Will you give us anything, masks? Oh, they're probably just gonna be like pots. Hmm. I'd assume this is where we're trying to go. Look at all those little footprints. Alright. Shrink on down. Oh yeah, just a quick thing I want to mention. I've been... You know how I was talking about pit, the pit for Fallout 3? And how it had some troubles? Well, now it is finally out. What do you want? Nothing good. Okay, so we gotta find a book. But I'm gonna climb up here anyways for now. So yeah, pit's out. And it is amazing. So if you have Fallout 3, I highly recommend checking it out. I think it's just awesome. I don't want to ooh and ah about it too much. I'll fuse kinstones with you. Because that's just that's just a waste of time, but I highly recommend it's just it's just great. Anything good? A chest. It's way up there. Hmm. 
Don't know how to get there yet, but it's all right. So we've got to go find a book. And the librarian should know about it, I believe. Oh, yeah, I can't go out the main door like this. All right. Well, I guess that's all for part 20 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Can't believe I've already done 20 parts of this game. It's a lot of fun, though, so... And all you guys who are watching, I think I have five subscribers now, which is just awesome. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Next time, we'll go on a hunt for a book. But until then, I've been Jeff Larson. Once again, thanks for watching.